Hey guys, Anthony Pietrobolta here back with another video. And in today's video, we're gonna go over the trades that we made previously on Coin, Riot, and IWM. We're also going to give an update on managing positions. When we sold those strangles, I had to close out the Mara strangle, I had to roll the Blink strangle, and I also did some hedges to actually profit while I was doing this. So if you're looking to build your wealth in the stock market with options trading, day trading, or swing trading, you're going to wanna to subscribe. My goal is to help you build your wealth to achieve financial freedom. Give this video a thumbs up at the end if you appreciate it and let's dive into the charts here are my exact notes from over the weekend combined with monday so we saw bitcoin running like i said i put on the trades with coin and riot based on bitcoin going back to all-time highs that actually happened we saw elon tweet that he was going to be selling 10 percent of his shares so that would drop the stock dan eyes raised his bull case to 1800 share which balanced out some of the selling neo hit over 43 dollars, so i was 1k in the profit i took my profit close it out it was a small position for me remember it was about seven thousand us so i just wanted to get that one off the table so i can put my focus on my bigger trades and, and use more size and higher conviction plays i had to close out a ton of positions on interactive brokers because if you saw my last video i had a lot of strangles out used all my buying power and then tesla stock dropped rapidly and volatility increased so basically i had to close out some of those positions to stay within the maintenance margin and i expected this i closed out positions that were already in the green or I actually closed out positions that I knew would be going against me more in the future. So one of them was the 990 to 1300 strangle. I closed that one out for 300 US profit. I actually got ended up getting my maintenance margin to the 500 thousands. When you go to use your buying power to sell strangles or sell puts, there's a volatility spike in the morning. So if you have maxed out buying power and then there's a volatility spike, your broker can give you a mar margin call and tell you to close out some positions to make up for this margin call because it's looked at as high risk. When volatility settles down, then you'd be out of the margin call even if your balances didn't change. Blink started running. Blink has an extremely high short float. So I had the strangle that was a $27 strike put and a 42 strike call expiring at the end of November. Well, Blink was going nuts and i saw that it could continue to run so i bought 100k usd worth of blink at 34 dollars per share as a hedge and thank god i did so blink started the day at about 32 dollars per share and started going parabolic so i bought in at 34 dollars per share right here it continued to run and i rolled out my 42 strike to the 47 strike a week later so instead of expiring november 26 I rolled it to expire December 3rd, and I had to pay a 9,000 US loss. Basically, I took a 9,000 US loss to roll the 42 strike call to a 47 strike call that I'm selling to collect premium. So that way the loss doesn't get bigger because remember, if it goes in the money, you're taking a huge loss. And the short float for Blink is huge. This is looking very strong. We could definitely push up to this 47 level and we're looking for resistance at around the 47 level. I'm proud of how I handled this trade. So I ended up profiting 14K US on the day and taking a 9K loss for rolling the strike from a 42 call to a 47 call. So essentially I'm net 5K for the entire trade. If I didn't go with the momentum and buy blink, if I just left it thinking, oh, it's, it's, it's running, it'll, it'll pull back and I just watched it, well, I could have ended up taking this 9K loss or taking an even bigger loss if I didn't roll it and it continued to run. When we set these positions, we can manage these positions based on what we see in the charts, what we see for the entire EV sector, because we know that crypto and EVs are running. They're in a bull market. Go with the flow. If something is running hard and you see that it, it could likely continue to run hard, don't be afraid to flip your position. Coin went to 360. I took profit on five contracts, like I said I would just before earnings, just in case. Bitcoin hit the all-time high. I said I would take profits around there. I took five contracts off the table for a 10K USD profit. Now I'm letting the other five contracts run. So you see Coin here, like I stated in the previous video, stochastic gets above the line, flat lines on the RSI. We get above, we go higher, the stock continues to push higher. Bitcoin hit the all-time high. We went all the way up to 68,000 overnight. We're pulling back now, 67,500. Still looking great. You'll see on Bitcoin on the daily chart, a while back, I actually made this wedge here. And this is why I put on the trades for Coin and Riot. And my target was actually at about uh, 66,500. 
and it went straight there. So that's why I took profit on the, the calls. I'm looking to take more profit this week as well on Riot and Coin. If you remember in the last video, I had the Mara Strangle 50 put and 80 call. And I, I wrote this right here. BTC will continue to have strength. It was wise to close before a parabolic rally took a, a 9K loss. Now I closed out this strangle when Mara was at 76 yesterday, Monday, because I had the fear that Bitcoin would run hard overnight and we would wake up to an over $80 per share Mara. And this actually happened, Mara hit about 82. Now pre-market it's at 80. This loss would have at least doubled. Instead of a 9K loss, it would be a 20K loss if we didn't close this out and we just waited. So. Again, this was another really good move and combine that to hedge more. We actually bought 100K worth of Riot in case Bitcoin continued to run overnight at $36 per share. The Riot 30 strike calls expiring December 3rd are up 19K USD at the moment. The IWM calls are up 19K USD as well. I'm likely going to close out most of those calls today on Riot for the 19K USD profit. That was our goal. We said we were looking for a ride to get to 39 to 40. So it's at our profit taking target. I'm sticking to my plan. I'm continuing to look for new opportunities. Quantum scape is another one that's looking really good right now. Look at this chart. We're seeing a lot of strength. Continue could continue to run upwards towards 50. I might be looking to take some shares here. No calls, but uh, I might buy some shares. Still looking at this and seeing if we want to go pull the trigger or not. We called this breakout here at 234. That's when we got in our calls and they're doing extremely well so everything is going good here as you can see on the rsi continues to move higher stochastic got here over 80 it's starting to flatline on the macd we are opening up from the bottom looks like we're going to continue to run towards that profit taking level at about 280. let me know in the comments below if you took any trades on crypto related names or on the iwm i got a lot of messages from you guys who actually took some calls on coin and iwm one of the key takeaways that i personally took was if you see a trade and it goes against you take the loss continue to watch it because it can shape up and don't feel like you can't take the trade because you took a loss on it before. This is a clear example of Riot. I went heavy on calls with Riot. I was using upwards of 60K USD worth on Riot before about a month ago and I took the loss because it didn't end up having the follow through that it's having today. And I wasn't afraid to put on the position again. The only thing was I used a lot smaller size. If I use the same size, we would have more than made up for the loss previously on Riot. So you have to be able to have the mindset to not get so emotional when you take a loss on a trade. You take a loss on a trade, you have to remain objective and say, hey, this is looking good now, I can get in. This is why I think it's extremely important to follow the market daily, watching the charts daily, because you can develop the feel for the market and know when things are likely to run for days and weeks and when you're in a scalping market when you want to take profits on the one day pops. For the last six months, we've been in a market where you want to take profit on one day pops. And just recently in the past week or a couple weeks, we're just starting to get those multi day, possibly multi week runs where you want to hold on to those winners for longer. None of this is financial advice. I just want to help us all develop the feel for the market so we can build our wealth to achieve financial freedom. Hey, it's 10.30 a.m. now and I closed out all of my positions. I actually got really lucky. I timed the top with the cryptos. I timed the top with Riot. I had a short call because I didn't think that Riot would actually get above 40, but I closed it for a loss. So it was a 9K loss there. Pre-market I bought QuantumScape 3,000 shares at 38.74 in case the EV market continued to run did not sold off so i took the 3k loss i took profits on the 30 strike riot calls that were expiring in december when riot was at 42 dollars a share which is around the high of the day that was a 27k gain I held that for a week closed 110k usd worth of riot shares with the stock at 41 dollars for another 12k gain that was held overnight closed the coin calls the rest of them with the stock at 360 for another 11.5k usd gain so remember I sold five contracts yesterday, other five contracts today. Total profit was around 21K US. Again, held that one for a week. And I closed the IWM calls as it sold off because I feel like the whole market is due for a correction anyways. If IWM continues to sell off, we see a nice base and I, I like the indicators, I'll probably buy the calls back again. But I took profits when it was selling off. It was around 243 yesterday. And then today it was 242, started selling off. I closed it out. Just wanted to wipe all my positions off the table so I could look at the charts with a clean slate and then look for new opportunities. So that was a 14.6K USD gain. And the net gain in 
trading week was 59,100 when factoring in the other trades I just spoke about earlier on in the video. So oh, the holding period was an average for about one to five days for all these positions. And now we're back in mainly cash. I didn't buy any Tesla stocks with these profits yet. The Tesla stock has finally, finally fallen down. We get, uh, it, I watched it go straight to 1,030. That was definitely Elon selling all his shares. And then we've got a crazy balance all the way up to 1,100. If it holds 1,100, we'll see. Uh, I could see it stabilizing anywhere from like 1,000 to 1,080 for a while, and then maybe make a new run up. That'd be awesome. It, I would love to see Tesla just hold above 1,000 for a week. That's the update of all the trades. I have other strangles and puts that I've sold that I'm just holding to let the theta run out, and those are all going good. So I hope all the trading went really well on your end. Thanks so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next video.